This video will be a guide to drill pick and jump kick Jojo, one of the hardest builds to play and currently also one of my favorites. It's very addicting and has a lot of skill ceiling. Jojo is a melee speedster, quite quite squishy, deals a lot of damage and has amazing CC as well for such a squishy Pokemon. It can be both played in central area and lane. It's mostly a central area Pokemon because if, as soon as it gets a level lead, it just runs over games, but it can also totally lane very fine. For the better item, you always go full heal, and for my health items, I want to talk about a bit. Attack weight always, Razor Claw always, and I currently play a current reduction build for Dodo. You don't have to go for this, so I play Energy Amplifier, and I also play Black Emblems, because there's a way of making it absolutely insane of a combo, also specifically with blue buff, so it's more of like a jungle build, right? If you go for jungle, um, I like this a lot. If you don't want to play current reduction, you can also just go for this right here. You can just go for brown HP, Emblems, straight up and you can replace energy amplifier for either a float stone or a cookie depending on which one you rather want cookie is also great um for drip pack healing later on and generally just makes Rudy a bit more tankier to just live in more combos because the pokemon is quite squishy and otherwise floats an also amazing item on jojo for this build as well we start the game over as duro and there's a lot of different things pokemon we have to talk about a lot of different mechanics first of all our boost auto attack charges up over running so if we run we get faster over time and at some point we get much much faster and our boost auto attack is built up and this boost auto attack can be used with your left joystick and pressing a and you just go into a direction and you're going to start stabbing into the direction dealing damage towards something like here Bam. and again it goes towards the direction of your left joystick meaning of where your left joystick is it's always going to direction of that so do is a lot of aiming with the left joystick on pretty much every ability um, that you have and this boost auto attack also reduces the cooldown of your moves which is very important for later on and this boosted auto attack is also the sprint gauge, what it's actually called. It's Dodrio's biggest issue as well, because if you get slowed or stunned, it slowly disappears, which will be... So you can't use your drill pack or your pack in the end. So you got to be very, very careful when you get slowed, because you can see if you're too slow, you can't even build it back up. So if you get stunned or slowed, it's instantly going to disappear. And you have to be very, very careful when it comes to staying or getting stunned. That's why you also have to run full heal. In case of team fights, we get stunned, instantly press it or try to predict something and be able to just keep on going. Then the second part of the passive is Dodrio can score in different ways. As the first evolution we can score, it's like it, it, it splits the score into two scoring. So it's easier to get just a few points in. And you also only get a stack on the last one. So you don't get a stack for every single time you score. For Dodo, it's two times it scores. For Dodo, it's split into three parts. But only when the last score goes in, you actually get your attack weight or cookie stack in. Then for the basic moves, we have Quick Attack, which is a dash in the direction. Similar to also... Um, I mean, it's similar to the boost auto attack. You have to aim it with your left joystick. You have to aim it with your left joystick. You can't... If I use my... You can see, using my right joystick, nothing happens. It's aimed with your left joystick. And then Pack is the same as well. Um... But pack only works if we have a boost auto tech up. So if you have a boost auto tech up, pack is a dash that does a lot of damage. And if you don't have a boost auto tech up, it's just a damage straight up. And it's going to be the same for a drill pack as well, which obviously I'm going to talk about in a second as soon as we get to level 5. You can see, and quick attack also gives us some move speed, which builds up our boost auto tech. And this is pretty good last hitting for early game though still. So if you do like, you know, pack into quick attack, you do a lot of damage. And this is also why you can play this Pokemon in lane quite well. Alright, level 5 is where we pick up Drill Pack, and again, as I mentioned, it's similar to the side of Pack. If we use it like just like this, it just damages in front of us. Straight up. Just damage in front of us. And if we build up our boosted or sprint gauge, it's called, or boost auto attack, if we use now our Drill Pack, it's going to deplete all of this, and it's going to push our opponents in direction, and also do max HP damage. So the tankier our opponents are, the more damage they will also deal. Again, building it up. And bam. We can hit multiple targets for this, and this, this is the main part, right? We always want to make sure our drill pack is used like this. And you can even be a bit behind our opponents like this. You can see right now I don't really... I can still drag them with me even if I'm not quite on them like this. It has a quite generous range of where the drill pack actually is. But you can't drill pack across voids. That doesn't work. If you drill pack into a void, you just get stuck on it. If you drill pack into like a barrier of Mr. Mime, you get stuck on it. And you also can't drip pack enemies like, you know, through voids. They kind of just get stuck on the wall as well, which is also quite very nice there too. But yeah, you can't. Voids are very scary. You have to really watch out for how you maneuver around those things. On level 7, our build gets completed with jump kick. Jump kick um, can either jump across an opponent or a terrain. So either over terrain, like this, you can jump and you can, with your left coiser, similar to blaze kick, you can decide where you want to land. So if I do up and then left, I will land on the left side. If I do 
jump into this up and right, I will jump towards the right side. You can jump around, you can jump across walls as well, if they're not too big. Sometimes you can get stuck on them if you're not careful, like this right here. If the wall is doesn't allow it sometimes, um, you've got to be very careful when jumping around walls. But in general, you will make it across most walls quite easily, and you can also jump across opponents. And you slow them up on landing. You stun first by hitting it. You can see there's a stun icon. And after slowing, uh, after landing, we also slow opponents and do damage again in a decent amount area. Also, jump kicks cooldown gets reduced by three seconds if we land onto our opponents. So you can see right here, if we if we hit an enemy, no, if, if we don't land, if we hit an enemy with our first part of jump kick, we get three second reduced on walls. It doesn't work as you can see. Now it's back to six seconds. And if we hit on our opponents, it goes down to three seconds. And you might have seen it, but jump kick also charges up our sprint gauge or boost auto attack by 75%. So you can see right here, it doesn't want, does it do it to 100%. You always be careful. If you just do instantly stuff, you're going to still stand on the same position. And you always have to move a tiny bit. So if you just do jump kick into drill pack, it's not going to happen. So always, if you do jump kick, drill pack, always walk a tiny bit. Do jump kick, walk a bit, and then we can drill pack to make sure that we get our stuff out. Just in case you're at zero. If you're at full, it doesn't really matter, right? If you're like this, it's totally fine. Not nothing is gonna happen. But yeah, gonna make sure that your sprint gauge is fully filled up so we don't look like, you know, we uh, just stand around and drill pack nothing, cause this is how Drurio is not supposed to be. On level nine, we pick up the Unite move, which is a uh, you can travel long distance. Drurio is gonna get hindrance resistance as well. You are unstoppable. You can't get stopped doing it. It's gonna run towards and it's gonna knock off every Pokemon in the path of this. It's quite difficult to aim sometimes because of auto aim, since it's like kind of like dragon like Unite. You have low range on it, so you gotta be very careful with how you aim it. Um, usually you use it after your drill pack, so you do like drill pack, maybe into an instant unite move, but you can also do a unite move into a drill pack and do a lot of damage with it. And then during this time as well, you can see our sprint gauge is gonna, or our, yeah, boost auto attack. I'm um, just gonna boost auto attack because I feel like people are gonna understand what this is a bit more. It's gonna fill up much faster, so you can see if we run around, we can do a lot of boost auto attacks in a row as well. And it's very strong at keeping up your boosted auto attack or your sprint gauge. At level 11, we pick up Drill Pack Plus, which gives us less cooldown on it. And it also gives us healing, which is very, very strong on this ability. Um, the more we hit as well, the more we heal. So it's a very, very strong ability. It's going to show it in a second right here and take some damage. And you can see we hit a lot of things. We're going to heal a good amount. This is where Drill in late game gets a good amount of sustaining. And it's actually, yeah, it's very, very good. Also, again, two second less cooldowns, which allows us to have more insane combos later, which I'll also talk in a second about. On the 30, we get Jump Kick Plus, which stuns our opponents also upon landing. Stuns up with slow, we also get a stun, which is absolutely crazy. Back to the boosted auto attack is where you can actually boost auto attack across walls. So another form of just mobility. You can use it to engage, you can use it to disengage. The boost auto attack has a lot of versatility. And let's talk about combos as well. And also boost auto attack use the cooldown of all your abilities. So you can see my jump kick if I uh, use my boost auto attack. Or my drip pick as well. Um, or drip pick first, jump kick, and then boost auto attack. The cooldown of both get reduced by one entire second. Let's talk about some basic combos. The very basic combo you can do very straightforward is drip pick into jump kick into boost auto attack for a lot of damage. Drip pick, jump kick, boost auto attack. And then you can jump kick either way or keep jump kicking on you, onto your opponents. The second one is also very straightforward. You can jump kick over your opponents, drill pick them into your team, bait for your next jump kick and do some more stuff as well. Always make sure you play around your cooldowns as good as you can. The same combo, but a bit differently. You can now use your boosted auto attack as well to close distance. You do boost auto attack into jump kick into drill pack. So these are already three combos that are quite, quite decent. And well, you can also do something like drill pack, jump kick, boost auto attack, you wait for your jump kick again, and you wait for your next drill pack and do it as well instantly. And on level 11, it's going to look a bit better. Also, let's say we have blue buff, because it's very likely we have blue buff right in these scenarios as well. Um, you run in, you do drill pack, jump kick, auto attack, jump kick, drill pack. This is like a basic combo that you can do with this Pokemon. Very, very strong. Drill pack, jump kick, boost auto attack, jump kick, drill pack. Now our next jump kick's almost back up again. We can just keep on repeating this over and over again. You can see I don't even have cooldowns off, like off. These are just my normal cooldowns for this build. Same again for the boost auto attack first. We can boost auto attack first, jump kick, drill pack, and we can wait around a tiny bit. And uh, but for this we have to wait a bit more, you know, longer. But totally fine as well. So again, boost auto attack, jump kick, drill pack. Wait for our next jump kick, jump kick, boost auto attack, jump kick, drill pack. So. These are all combos you can do. And there's something even more important as well. For Like, this is just why I play this build with cooldown reduction as well. 
is because after level 13, you can do something like this. You can perma almost perma stun your opponents. With current reduction, you can just have permanent jump kicks up. You can see I can jump kick, boost auto attack, jump kick, boost auto attack, jump kick, boost auto attack, jump kick, boost auto attack. And that's why I like current reduction as well. It's just a very fun and meme build as well. And it just allows us to chain our abilities even more together. These are most of the combos. And again, the night move as well. We can just do a drill pack into instant unite move, knock our opponents up, maybe do boost auto attack, a jump kick, another drill pack, and just play around our cooldowns again as much as we can. You can also again engage with your unite move first if you want to. Uh, maybe straight forward. You engage with it. Then you drill pack your opponents. You jump kick, you jump kick again, you jump kick, and then you drill pack again. Because that's just how this Pokemon is. You can do a lot of things when it comes to these parts. And yeah, I mean, I normally I like using it as like a follow-up ability, but you have to be, you have to be very careful, right? If you use it as follow ability, let's say I want to, let's say these are opponents, but there's like a low HP guy over here, I will do this instead. And that's not what I want to do, right? Like I want to just go for these Atarias instead. So if enemies are around, you have to be a bit careful. Um, you have to kind of maybe drag around to unite move a tiny bit. And maybe try it here again. So I have to just pull it over here and then hopefully get it off but yeah it's low chain cc you can do you can stun someone for like four seconds with this 100 like it's crazy how much cc this pokemon actually has for like a speedster so yeah if you do drill pack unite move jump kick and you can almost drill pack again as you can see so <laughs> it's just crazy make sure you use your boost auto attacks as well again your boost auto attacks reduce cooldown so it's very important to play around those so let's jump into some dodo gameplay we're always going to pack across this wall again it goes over voids as well so we can just start auto attacking it and we're going to start cleaning our jungle, waiting for our next pack. And we're going to try to build up our sprint gauge or boost auto attack. It doesn't matter how you really call this. Um, we're going to use our quick attack right here, do a boost auto attack, and then a pack as well. And we try to wait on our pack a tiny bit, maybe. Just because, I mean, it does more damage when our sprint gauge is filled up. Let's make sure we get a more razor claw, you know, procs in. Quick attack as well again. You're going to use the boost auto attack into a pack. You can also do pack boost auto attack or like auto attacks first. I actually don't you know which, <laughs> which rotation is a bit more damage. But honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. You just get to level 5 very fast, and after that, you know, the first clear is already uh, gone. So we do clear our jungle quite fast, as you can see. I'm going to try to dodge away from the stun right here. And I'm going to start clearing this. I'm going to look for a lane to gank already. I'm going to quick attack across the wall. And we're going to finish it off, get to level 5, and pick up our drill pack. Looking now where we can gank. And we can either do quick attack beyond our opponents and look for a drill pack into the, the left side. It's also quite fine, but I'm just going to look for a stack right here, walk up. And we're going to score, and our scoring is quite fast. And then we get our again. We only get a tech rate stack on the last scoring in. Yeah, I'm going to look for something, um, but I didn't have my quick attack up. I'm still looking to maybe drip pack my opponents, but in the end, I'm just going to drip pack the Atarius to make sure we get them right now. Because our opponents are playing very safe, as they should be. I'm seeing bot a fight breaking out, so I'm just going to try to run over there very fast and look for a drip pack as well right here. I'm going to try to go for the rides, but yeah, I couldn't stop it. So I'm building up my next drip pack right now, but just trying to boost auto attack because it's a bit faster. Nice full here there by Zashian to dodge away from my drip pack. And now we just go back to our jungle to get to level 7 very fast. Because we need we need jump kick very badly. As soon as we get jump kick, our Pokemon really becomes online. And we can start farming those kills quite easily. So we can step, skip forward a bit because there's not much happening. And there we go. Red buff is done. I'm going to look for mid now. Pick our jump kick up. I'm going to just instantly jump kick to fill up my sprint gauge. I'm going to look for the Sataria. I'm going to hit them towards top side because I know Zashian was bot. So I don't want them to be closer to Zashian. And sadly, I missed the drip pick on this Sataria walking away. <laughs> a bit awkward. Jump kicking again. Always make sure you just jump kick across like things as well. You can always travel uh, around the map much, much faster if you just jump kick around. And looking for a drip pick right here. I was stunned though. I'm looking for a jump kick. And you can see my sprint gauge because I was slowed, wasn't fully filled up. This time I jump kick next to the. Uh, I actually don't know. Sligo? Is it called Sligo? Evolution. And I take him down. Here, jump kick across the wall. And I get sniped by the SP in the end. Just a quick replay of this fight. Just very really fast, because again, a lot is happening here. We drip pack this guy. Um, we try to jump kick, but we were stunned by the side shock, I think. I didn't quite notice that. And we jump kick across this wall. We try to go into this guy. Um, but yeah, we end up over here, because it's kind of scary to be there. I'm waiting for my next jump kick. I'm jump kicking across again. And this time we take him over towards the side. Quite easy. Enemy Gengar goes back in as well again. And we just jump kick now this wall, because I want to get my sprint gauge fully up. So I'm just going to jump kick across the wall to get my sprint gauge filled up. And then we look for the drill pick instantly when Gengar lands. And we take him down with the basic attack. But we also get taken down in the end. So you can see in the base as well, I just jump kick across the wall to build up my sprint gauge instantly. Always make sure you use terrain for that. Quite, quite nice. 
And now we're going to start working on our blue buff. And we're going to look for the fight on bot. My Unite move is up. Jump kicking across voids again. Making sure this is my drip pick right here a tiny bit. And now we have to wait a tiny bit. Waiting for my cooldowns. Always make sure you play around your cooldowns. Drip pick this in EDs to make sure our team gets it. And I'm not the best at taking objectives. So if my team is not here, it's quite, quite awkward. So I'm just going to look for a fight already. I'm going to drip pick this Zashi and jump kick over. Boost auto attack, jump kick over. Um, and I go down because it's Zashian. <laughs> because it's Zashian. So not the best early game you can see. Georgiou is quite squishy. So you have to be very careful. We respawn. We run back bot path now. With our lot of move speed as well. My team picks up the red eyes because we stay, you know, bought a lot of time for our team anyways. And they're able to pick it up. So they want to stack a tiny bit. Just going to go in, score those five points. And I'm going to unite with right here. Just get KOs. Do boost auto attack. Jump kick over. Drip pick just in case. But the guy died anyways. going to try to sneak one more stack in. Which I do. I'm just going to keep on stacking right now. You can also always use our boost auto attack to just close distance, as you can see right here. Quite, quite nice. Same for, again, we can do boost auto attack into jump kick into drip pick. You can use a boost auto attack as an engage tool as well, as like, again, a way of gaining distance. Here we take down the Espeon with the normal drip pick, because we just had no other option. Try to play around things, and Dorio is such a slippery Pokemon. So we try to just run away from our opponents right now. I can jump kick. Actually, this time I failed. So you gotta be very careful when you jump kick into those voids. I'm just gonna have a few points right here. And yeah, now we can peace out. And then Misa's still around here. I'm just gonna get level 11 for my drip pick plus. My team is fighting, looking maybe for the re engage. Um, just drip pick this guy into jump kick. He does unite move me, which is totally fine. Jump kicking onto the void to make sure a bit of my drip pick. Go back to the Gardevoir and take down the Garda as well. Recalling. Just going to take my blue buff again, because again, blue buff for this Pokemon is great. Current reduction on Dodrio with all the current reductions already get is just absolutely crazy, because your abilities are just pretty much always up. Sadly, my blue buff is stolen, which I was really sad about. I was like, who actually took it? I wasn't really to hunt down the person that did it. And I'm just going to look for the next fight. Just going to drip pack a bush. We can always do that, because our jump kick can kind of just get us out of trouble quite easily. Who's out taking across the watches to make sure to check if anyone is there? And now I'm just going to zone for my team, maybe. I'm going to drip pack these Ataris to the left side and see if anyone is around. Jump kick onto the Ataria array as well. And you can jump kick onto voids, onto any enemy, onto any my white Pokemon. Totally fine. Um, we full here the Gengar Stutch Bomb here so we don't get text on. Now we try to turn it around and he turns invisible. And this is the thing with the auto aiming. Like, this is the problem of Drudu sometimes that I'm clearly, like, that I say. I mean, it's good that I always do mistakes because it shows that this Pokemon is hard to learn. Um, I just want to Ignite move right here. Down, I'm just, I want to instantly cast it to hopefully have a chance of hitting Gengar in the spot. But because there's a... I, he's not even on my screen, this guy right here. It auto-aims onto the Gudra. I actually don't even know where it aimed on. I have no idea where my Unite move wanted to go, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea. It goes up here for some reason. So you gotta be very careful with aiming it sometimes. We just uh, jump kick over him, drip pick him, and take down the Gudra at least anyways as well. But that was so weird. I don't know where my Unite was going. <laughs> I have no idea. Looking for a drip pick into the bush again. I like just drip pick into a bush because the opponents can't do much about it. And if someone is in there, I might just be dead. And if someone isn't there, I can always just jump kick out and full heal. And here's also a nice play that I mentioned with the boost auto attack. So you can see how much distance I can gain. I'm going to boost auto attack across this wall and then jump kick over it. Have my boost auto attack bit up again and just drip pick the Espeon. So boost auto attack towards uh, here, close distance. Then we jump kick across. And then we gain a lot of distance into an instant drill pack. And we take him down. Trying to score right here, but Zashian is aware of it. He's going to jump into the wall, try to run away. Could have also just boosted auto attack right here to gain even more distance. But I wasn't sure if his, boost, if his auto attack is going to follow me. And if his auto attack follows me, then I'm kind of afterwards kind of doomed. So I didn't quite do it. Farming, farming, farming. I still want level 13. Because jump kick plus for the stun is actually quite, quite huge. Very important to have. Looking for a fight now, maybe. I'm going to pick onto the Zashian. Jump kicking across the boy, which I actually missed this time around. And then we go for the Regieleki. My team is also doing stuff right now. And we're just going for the Regieleki. Zashian is here. Can't quite go for it. And uh, yeah, still recalling now. This time I want to really take my blue buff. <laughs> and again, pushing with this Regieleki is just kind of suicide still. You don't want to do it. And this time we get it. We hit level 13 right here. Always jump kicking across things to make sure our sprint gauge is full filled up. Very, very important. And yeah, we get ready for the last fight now. You can still maybe look for uh, some fun shenanigans, but don't want to overextend too much right now. Saw the SP on there. And yeah, I'm just going to check around. Again, do some boost auto attack, my jump kick to gain distances like there. 
It's gonna stick around and see if anyone is around. Try to guess where the Gudra is. Couldn't quite find the Gudra. Gudra can be a bit annoying because of the slowing. But yeah, we just jump kick. And you can see this this fight was so like this is exactly how it's supposed to look, right? When you play Drew Drew. So drill pack first. Then we jump kick across. We do an instant boosted auto attack backwards. And then we have our next jump kick up because of a cool reduction build. We can jump kick instantly again. I'm gonna reposition myself to here because like now Gengar's gonna engage onto this as well. And then I have a perfect drill pack onto both of them, predicting the Gengar as well. And now we have an instant drill pack and both of them are down. So Think a bit ahead. And you can see right here, there's also still an issue though. I mean, just in a second. If you're slowed and you jump kick, you actually don't fill up your sprint gauge always. So you gotta be very careful. Currently, I'm Guid. I have the slow effect from Gudron. So you can see as soon as I jump kick right here, it's gonna stick around here. It's not gonna fully fill up. So it's something very important for team fights to be aware about that your jump kick doesn't fill your sprint gauge up 100% if you're slowed, if you're still being slowed by something. I'm looking for bot now, looking for this fight, gonna drill pick in first. Gonna jump kick out with my full heal, running around, building my next spring gauge, going for another drill pack, jumping in, boost auto attack, and I just try to dodge around from the side shocks because they could be quite deadly. Do boost auto attack to gain distance, and we keep on going as well. And yeah, again, just very straightforward. Boost, we, we dodge again, dodge away from this. Then we build up our next boost auto attack. I'm gonna use it to close distance um, because my, uh, yeah, so, so I can jump kick easier because it's easier to hit it when I'm closer. And he's also slowed by my rep buff afterwards. And then we jump kick over. I can drill pack this guy right here. My next jump kick is almost back up already as well. So I, I could use it right here onto the person. I can always just jump to safety. Go back in with the drill pack. Get a nice triple KO. And uh, now we look for the Gengar. But yeah, the sidekick slow is so annoying. Like, slows are so annoying for Dodrio. You have to really watch out. And it's going to take a lot of time getting used to when you're getting slowed or not. And that's the only reason why this Pokemon sometimes struggles. But it's still one of the best Pokemon in the game. Even with how much, you know, stuns are in the game. Um, it's it's quite quite insane. Picking up the blue buff again to make sure I have it for those last two minutes. And I'm also very close to 15. Running to this fight now. I'm looking for a drill pack onto the Zashian. I hit it. Jump kick across this guy. Again, I'm Gui, so I can't use my next drill pack. Use my boost auto attack there. I tried to gain close to the Espion, but he was actually a bit too far away. And uh, I'm using the Atari now to jump in into a drill pack. And then our next jump kick is actually getting missed. Again, it's quite easy to miss as well, so I'm just going to move him because he's the last person standing. And I thought my team would do Rayquaza here, that's why you night moved him. But they actually don't do Ray. So this fight's still going to break out. I'm going to try to heal up with my drill pack. And now we have to actually look for another fight. Um, so yeah, they like, respawn time as we are so low. Drill pack onto the Gudra. Jump kick across the void to build up our sprint gauge again. And I was looking for a flank. Looking for a flank. I'm going to hit the Gard uh, Gardevoir. From the side, I'm just gonna start scoring now. Glory is also very good at like capping points. Um, because you can always just maybe score one sleeve, score one sleeve because you split into three parts. And now the enemies are still dead, still looking for some more scores right now. And because I have so much ability, it's also easy for me to get out. Right? I can always just jump kick and boost auto attack onto something, and I gain so much distance that the enemies have a hard time following me around. Ray still up. Um at this point we look quite fine. Just make sure the enemies still can't walk in. And just take down the ray if possible. So I'm looking for the guard over right here. And uh, yeah, we're just spending on time right now. So we're not letting them out of their base. And maybe just one last KO right here. But I'm getting night move, but I do have my uh, do have my fully up for the guard over unite. Take it down. And we try to run away as well right here. And he's gonna jump around the Gudra a tiny bit. And you can see how annoying this Pokemon is. Like I'm just I'm just playing around with this Gudra, just running around in circuits, and he doesn't have fun whatsoever. And the nice thing is, with your night move, even if you miss our jump kick or sprint cage, it gets bit up quite nicely and very fast. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I hope it was helpful. Again, biggest tips are use everything you have in the kit. Always jump kick across walls to make sure your sprint cage is filled up. Make sure you learn the combos. They're actually quite straightforward, I would say. I'm just going to get some muscle memory for them, and you're for sure going to get it. And a lot of practice. Go into try mode and try hitting Dodeo's moves because they take a lot of practice to actually get used to aiming with your left joystick again. This build is entirely aimed on the left joystick. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!